Good morning. Oh my goodness. Finally, a video. <laughs> Hello, floss tube friends. I am Lisa, and this is my channel, Cross by Floss, where I talk about cross stitching, life blabbings, and all kinds of other stuff. I know it's been a hot minute, and um, actually, tomorrow I will be putting up a regular video. Um, of my cross stitching stuff. So this one's a special edition and it's going to be all about haul because I was looking at what I was going to do for my video tomorrow and discovered that I had a lot of blabbings and um, very little stitching to show. Um, but I have some happy mail that I want to talk about tomorrow and then but I have a lot of haul. And so the video would end up being like two hours long and nobody wants that. So I thought I would break them up. So today's all about haul. And like, seriously, I have six weeks of haul. So there's a lot of haul. Uh, don't judge me. And it is Saturday morning. Uh, I don't even know what day it is. Like the 12th, maybe September 12th. And um, it is smoky here. Oh my goodness, the air quality is horrific because of the fires from Oregon and California and other places. And um, I am not gonna complain about the weather quality because man alive, the people who are in those conditions um, and actually in the fire zones or having to evacuate, way worse than what we got going on here inside our homes wear a mask. We're used to it, right? We're used to wearing a mask and staying home. So there we go. <laughs> okay, let's get into haul, huh? Yeah, I have a lot of it. I have bags. I have, oh my gosh, I have, I have stuff. I have stuff. So let's get into it. Okay, first let's do, uh, let's do fabrics. Okay, so I am part of a couple of Fabric of the Month clubs. One of them is Color and Cotton. The other one is the Stitch Name Brandy. And um, I received my Color and Cotton. I might be behind. I'm I, Again, I have not been able to keep up with, and I think I've showed everything, though I feel like maybe I didn't get a July. Because this is August's. Anyways, this is called, this is August's um, Fabric of the Month, and it is called, it is called nothing. I have no idea, but um, I get mine in a 16 count. I'm sorry for the glare. I'm also sorry for the no noise. I have Odin. We have an agreement. He will bark at every four-year-old on a trike, bike, a dust bunny rolling by, and I can't stop him. So, and he's choosing to eat his bone right here. Sorry. Anywho, this is... <laughs> This is August fabric of the month. It is beautiful. I'm in the neutral club um, because I like neutrals for um, samplers and stuff. So this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. That was lovely to get. And then I am part of Brandy's um, fabric of the month club. And I don't know about you, but I sure get excited when I see a pretty little package. I want to make sure my address is on it, but a pretty little package that comes like this. She, sometimes they're patterned, sometimes they're not. Um, oh dear, where did I get it from? Right here, I think. Um, sometimes they're not, sometimes they're just a plain white one, which is totally okay too, but it's always exciting when I see that come in my mailbox and I see that it says, be stitch me on it. And I'm like, Yay! I can't wait to go get the scissors and open it up. These have been sitting here because I've been so busy. Again, something I'll talk about tomorrow. Okay, so um, Brandy not only has a Fabric of the Month Club, but she also has a Friday Night Fight Night. Friday Night Fight Night. FN, FN. And I think she does it like a couple of times a month. It might be three times a month. One, one week a month, she won't because she's busy dyeing the month of the club, club fabrics. And, um, but dang, I'm telling you what. So she had one last night, September 11th. And I was in there like, as soon as she posted, I think I got three, I think I did, got three fabrics. I'm hoping I got four because there was one I really wanted, 27 Linda. I'm dying to try 27 Linda and everybody gets it before I do. I had my me please all ready to go. 
copy and paste it, people. Copy and paste. That's the way to go. <laughs> And so, but somebody, just as I was saying, it had just like a millisecond before me. <sighs> Anywho, maybe she'll pass. And I'll get it. It's okay. I'll always, I mean, Brandy's great and I can always order from her. So, um, but anyways, she does these Friday night fight nights. Man, you got to be like on top of, here's a secret. The next day, go in because sometimes people, you know, um, me please 20 fabrics and then of course they're not going to buy 20 fabrics and so they will either pass to the next person so always put next because chances are pretty good that you may get a fabric um, or they'll delete their comments and so then the fabric's up for grabs and that's happened to me I've gone in and I've looked at the albums on like a Saturday morning and I have gotten a piece of fabric so chances are pretty good her fabrics are worth it. Totally worth it. Love them, love them, love them. And she's, her customer service is fantastic. And um, I just hope that, I mean, she seriously has a lot of support, which is great. But I hope that, you know, she's able to sustain that because, man, her fabrics are fantastic. And I will cry if she, you know, says, yeah, I'm done. Like LJ did. And I kind of cried a little bit when LJ Fabrics decided to, to stop doing anywho. <laughs> Brandy, Brandy's. Friday night fight nights. So I got a piece of 25 Lugana. I know, I know you're all shocked because I'm the Ada girl, but um, for $20, this huge O piece, it's a, what size is it? 18 by 27. Look at this. And sometimes for Friday night fight night pieces will have like a name to them and some don't. This one's called Badlands, um, and it, it's beautiful. Like, it is sampler fabric 100%. And so I feel that maybe trying a 25 Lugana might be the thing, especially when I have some one over, one over one stitching that needs to be done. I think I can do that on 25 count. I don't know, I'm a baby when it comes to all that. Then the other thing that she does is uh, after her Friday night fight nights, she will then post an album of giveaways that she uh, puts up. She's so generous, you guys, like legitimately generous. Like go, if you're looking for a fabric of the month club, I mean, she's got a waiting list, but you know, go and see. People might drop out come the new year. Who knows? Um, I am not just saying. Um, my spot's not up for grabs. Um, but she does these free, uh, kind of giveaways and you do the same thing as you do in Friday night fight nights, except that you're not the first person, you know, it's a random draw, um, to, uh, potentially get one of the gifts and she'll put up all kinds of things like mirabilias with the, the beads. Crazy. I mean, that's expensive stuff. Some silks that she's starting to dye fabrics that she has, um, patterns like, there's all kinds of like stitchy, yummy goodness that is in there. And so you go through the albums and the things that you're interested in, you know, you, me, please. And then she random draws uh, that night or maybe two Sunday morning, whatever. And, um, and then sometimes you may win. Well, I won a piece of fabric, which was awesome. And funny enough, I have like three of this exact same color now because I've gotten it a couple of times in random things. So uh, this is a 16 count Ada, uh, 18 by 21 piece. It's beautiful. It's a really nice purple. And if you have watched my floss tube and you've seen my Alice, it's very similar to Alice's fabric. So that was awesome in a Friday night fight night. So that's one. <laughs> then in another Friday night fight night, yes, I got an, another piece of Lugana. <laughs> this one's 28. I don't know what's happening. Um, but it is uh, opal fabric. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is beautiful. And it's called hibiscus. Oops, hibiscus. Let's see. Oh my goodness, you guys, like it's yellowy, purple, pinky, beige it's beautiful it's beautiful and um so i was super excited to win this piece 
um, not when I, I was the first to say me please, or maybe somebody let it go. I don't know why you'd let go of an opal. Mm -mm. Man, those go fast too. Um, but beautiful, beautiful piece of fabric. Um, and I think I know what I'm going to do this with. I have a mermaid that I think is going to look fantastic on that. And so that was exciting. And then I think that this is, yes, this is August fabric of the month. And this one is called Mocha. Again, I'm in the 16, uh, count club and a piece of Ada and beautiful, right? Like I again see a sampler on this um, and I have a lot of them. So we're not gonna talk about that either. Mm -mm. But that was August uh, thing of the month. And then, ooh, was it there also? Yes, and then she started dyeing silks, you guys. Oh my goodness, and the feel of these silks, they're beautiful, they're yummy, they're Mm, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. And so you get five uh, flosses, five threads. And this is the Silk of the Month. It, she's got, the colors are called Storm, Moon, Monkshood, and Sugar Light. Sugar Light? Something like that. Um, and so you got two pieces of... Let's see here. So you get 50 yards. That's that's the deal. 50 yards um, for a uh, price. And so I got two storms. Look at those. Pretty. I got two monk's hood. This is such a pretty purple. And then one sugar light, sugar light. I have no idea. I butchered it. It's okay. It's Sunday. Saturday. I don't even know. Anyways, it's beautiful. And um, again, Brandy's fabrics are worth it. And now she's dyeing floss silks and they're beautiful. So um, love that. And then uh, this says that it's a fabric of the month club. There's no color to it, but it's like the one that I won um, on a Friday night fight night. I don't remember buying this. And if it's a fabric of the month, there's no color. And I don't know what month. So I think that, again, Brandy's super generous. And every once in a while, things will show up. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I didn't buy that. So she's just awesome. Like, seriously awesome. Go see her. Okay. Um, Let's do, oh my goodness, seriously, there's so much. Uh, let's do some more faucets. So I'm also part of the um, Victorian Motto uh, say, uh, Threads of the Month, and I am doing the Primitive Floss Pack, which is a limited, ed they're limited editions, and what month is this? I think that this might be July. Never say, I, I'm pretty sure that this is July's. I don't think that I've seen August's yet. Yes, July. So the colors, the yummy colors of this are here. Let me see if I can maybe put them up on something. So haunting green. Yeah, haunting green. Colonial pine. Sagebrush. So pretty. Uh, warm spice, green pear. Oh, that's so pretty. That's almost sea hot green. Almost. And then this is ginger. All the colors I love for fall. This is so pretty. And I have. I have a sampler that I am color converting a little, and some of these are going to be the colors for that. So, um, very pretty Victoria Motto color uh, flosses. Then I did another order with Mrs. Seda Silks from Spain. 
I'm telling you guys, the silks are fantastic. They come in a huge hank, hunk, ball thing. They're beautiful. And they smell gorgeous. And you guys know how I like my smells. So, um, uh, Long Dog Sampler came out with, um, Long Dog Sampler came out with a chart called Pandemic. Let me pause. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so anyways, uh, Long Dog came out with a sampler called Pandemic. And um, it's beautiful. It's large. And so I was like, ooh, I really would like to do that in a kind of a monochronic, monochromatic color, but that had, you know, that maybe had just a little bit of variation to it. And so I was cruising Mrs. Seda's site and I came across this color called copper. And I was like, this seems like a fantastic color for that sampler or for that pattern and so i'm not thinking about it i love it i love it and then um darling blue i love blue i love blue i love blue samplers i know red's the thing for samplers but i like um some of them in kind of the blue like um what uh the free one that he's doing uh friends the quaker cell Oh goodness, I'm doing it as well. But he has like every year he does. They're out of the UK, I think. I'll think of it, maybe it'll come to me. Anyways, um, uh, there's a pattern, there's one for, I think it's 2018 that I'm thinking that I might do in this color. And this is called Darling Blue. Oh, it's so pretty. And like the color is luscious, look at this. And the shine, like that's, that's seriously, that's what you see. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And then she um, sent a few little goodies because she's awesome. And um, she sent me uh, Oxide, which is beautiful. And I may have to actually get a hank of that now that I see it in real life. Um, this one did not have a name, but it's beautiful you pretty. Where did my little white thing go? Sorry. And then Hydrangea. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. So those came from Spain and she's so lovely. She sent me a message and she's like, I'm so sorry. You know, postage is being super slow. And I'm like, mm, mm -mm. it's totally okay. Um, her, her floss is worth it, which is exactly what I told her. I was like, mm -mm, I don't care how long I have to wait. Your floss is worth it. And I am in no hurry. Legitimately, no hurry. I haven't even used the uh, two other ones that I purchased from her. And um, like, really, <laughs> I'm in no hurry, but I am stocking up for the next like wave of whatever we've got going coming. Because you know, it's coming. Okay, then I'm also part of Color and Cotton's Floss of the Month. And so this is July. So clearly I have not received August yet. Uh, this is Chestnut. Mm, the blue probably is not making it all that happy, is it? Here, let's see. Let's try that again. Chestnut. Oh, that's a little better. Um... Oh, this is so pretty. Antique Rose. And Battleship. I like this one. Pretty. So um, those came to add to my stitch stash of fabrics and floss. Fancy floss. So that's what it is. Fancy floss. Then do a couple of patterns. I think I have some other stuff, but it's okay. Um, Heaven and Earth, mm, back in July, I think it was, announced a sale of 50% off their patterns. And I'm like, Phew. I mean, I randomly purchase Heaven and Earth design patterns. Um, I have quite a few of them. 
I have legitimately only started one and that's my Anne and she hasn't seen a lot of love recently. So, but I bought her dad. I got Henry and um, I know that, is it Ginger Gerald stitched this? And I'm telling you, it is absolutely spectacular. So I have Anne. Oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, Anne, husband, Anne, ha. And then I have Elizabeth. So Elizabeth's dad. That's where I was going. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I have Henry, Anne, and Elizabeth. And um, so one day maybe I will get them done and then, you know, we'll have, have them up on the wall with Henry in the middle, Anne on one side, and Elizabeth on the other. I think it'll be beautiful. Then... I don't know why, but I purchased this mini copper vein by Ruth Thompson, and it is a dragon. Let's see, will it? Yeah, I think. Um, it's just like it spoke to me. It's gorgeous. It's pretty. It's beautiful. It was half off, and it's small. Uh, small being, it will be. It's three hundred and twenty-five stitches wide by two thirty-seven. So it it small for a hade and um but I thought that it was beautiful and I have a son who likes loves dragons and so I thought that would be something that maybe um he might get by his 40th birthday he's gonna be 30 next year we'll see and then I also purchased this Odin this mini four seasons by uh Jacek Yurka I probably butchered that I have been eyeing this for some time and I think that it is spectacular because you can change it any old way you want. And so it's got the four seasons, winter, spring, summer, fall, and it's just so pretty. I just, you know, and it's a mini, it's a mini, so it's a 250 by 248, yes please. I mean, that's a sampler size, right? So. I think I can handle that, maybe, we'll see. So I purchased those patterns. Then, mm, let's see, yes, mm, sorry. Okay, bags. Okay, you guys all know that I have a bag fetish, bag love. Doesn't matter if it's a handbag, a tote bag, a uh, uh, yarn bag, mm, it doesn't matter. I like them all and if they are cute, I will purchase. Hey, buddy. No, no. And so, no, no. Hey, no. And so, um, yes, part of a couple of big of the months as well. So, Garon Toten Bag is one that I am part of. So I not only received the bag of the month, but also the Grime Guard of the month in an eight by eight. So this was July's. It is gorgeous. Look at that with these great big sunflowers and these, um, some kind of bird. I am not a bird person. I don't know what those are. Swallows, uh, I don't know. Um, and then on the inside is music notes, which I think is so cute because you know, birdies sing. So um, it's pretty. And you guys all know that I have this love affair with not only with the gear on Toten bags, but also the smell of them and then of course the grime guard that matches and then just the other day my mailbox came August and um how happy is this fabric look at this it's so colorful and happy and beautiful and all these umbrellas on the beach with beach chairs and um what are the birds on the beach pelicans mm. no that doesn't sound right I don't know I don't know <laughs> Clearly, I've been inside too long. And then on the insides, watermelon. Because who doesn't eat a lot of watermelon in the summer? We do. I mean, we love watermelon. So um, so those were the two bags from Garon Toten Bags. And I got to tell you, again, they have a long waiting list. My spot's not up for grabs next year either. Um, but 
um, you know, get on their waiting list. Well worth it. Ronnie is adorable. Like he's adorable. And, um, and he's super responsive and he's lovely. And, um, I just enjoy, just enjoy their bags. Another bag, uh, maker that I love and have, um, I, I'm pretty sure I've supported her since the beginning of when she started, maybe, um, is Denise from Dot Dot, let me get it right, Dot Dot Goose Design, just design, no S on the end. And so she posts on Instagram all the time. I have not been on Instagram as often as um, in the last three to six weeks because, huh, again, I'll talk about it tomorrow, super busy things have been happening and um but I happened to be on one day and um she was showing the new bags that she had in her shop and I was like ooh so she had this one uh the Christmas the cardinal it is beautiful it is beautiful and Denise's bags are so well made um and there's the back fabric is that not pretty holly is and it's sparkly like it's the holly berries everything it's outlined i don't know if you can see that it's all outlined in a very nice beautiful silver sparkle it's gorgeous um the zipper coordinates there's the inside fabric um the clear vinyl pouch on the outside i like both like i'm i'm not a Oh, I all, all want my bags to be vinyl bags or, you know, uh, solid. I don't mind either because if I have a vinyl bag, I can see what's in it. If I have a, a fully, you know, full uh, fabric bag, I'm just going to put a tag on the end of it. And so I know what's in it. It does not bother me in the slightest. Um, but this is such a nice size. Denise is lovely. She makes them to order so, you know, she doesn't have a stock of bags. And so it'll take uh, two to three, maybe four weeks for her to get a bag out to you. Again, well worth it. Um, she has an Etsy shop. Um, and I just, I enjoy her bags. They're beautiful. And so that one came, I think I have another one coming. I may have purchased the other day. I don't know. Okay, and then... Y'all know Crosshatch Quilts on Floss Tube. I think she's also that on Instagram. Her name's Christy. She's lovely. Um, she lives in Utah, I think. I don't know. And um, she is a beautiful quilter and, um, and uh, cross-stitcher and has all kinds of adorable, adorable things. And she does a de-stash every once in a while. And I see people posting her bags every once in a while, like Brenda and the cereal, Brenda and Laura, the cereal starter. Um, and a couple other people, um, a couple other people, I don't remember. And so, you know, they're posting these gorgeous bags from her. And I'm like, mm, I want one because I have FOMO. I have fear of missing out. I really, if you have it, I want it. <laughs> And so I'm like, I must have one of these bags. So I get on her D-stash thing and I click the notifications. I'm laying in bed one day, getting ready for work and up pops this cross by cross, cross hatch quilts posted, you know, D-stash posted, uh, posting. And I'm like, say what? So I'm like, oh, I don't care what time it is. I'm going to hang out until this all happens. Right? So I got a bag. I got a I was so excited and I can see why everybody wants one of these bags because it's gorgeous. So, um, she does this beautiful patchwork on the front. It's gorgeous. The back of the fabric. I think that this is Blackbird fabric. I think I got the one. There was also a Halloween one and I missed it because I put me, please, instead of just me, if I just typed me, I would have got this bag, but no, I put please and the person above me got it not okay but it's okay because I told Christy as soon as that happens again I'm get one and there's the inside of the line bag it's beautiful it's just beautiful and she puts a little charm um on the zipper these little scissors cute and then her little um tag on the the side here it's a uh, 
ruler ribbon. Super cute. Um, well worth it. It came so fast, you guys. It came so fast. Beautiful. Then I'm also part of So Much to Love's Fabric of the Month bag. Also, Karen makes beautiful bags. So this one is, what month is this one? This one's August. I must be missing July's. Or maybe I already showed July's. I don't know. Anyways, this is uh, August's bag of the month. It is absolutely gorgeous. And um, oh, I just love. And inside, just a little polka dot fabric. Is that not cute? And then um, Karen's signature is that she has this little flat, uh, heart felted, felted heart zipper pull. And um, her bags are just so well made. I have not received one that I have not loved and um, just cute. And then when you are part of the bag of the month, um, there's little things that come with it. You get a little bag of goodies. And in this one, she sends you a note that tells you what's everything, what everything is in the bag. So we received an exclusive chart by So Much to Love. She's doing some designing and it's called the Whole Earth Smiles. So that's awesome. Oh, sorry. Did you hear that? Apparently hungry too. Then um, we also received some Thread Snips Travel Scissors. That's perfect. And then she always includes a tea and some candies. So love that. Thank you, Karen. Always love seeing what's coming in that. Okay, now, see, I told you I've got a lot of stash. Okay, um, I went on to stash unload. Of course I did. I have actually been a really good girl though until recently. We're not gonna talk about it. And, um, I had stayed off. Well, honestly, I was too busy to get on. And um, so these are like back in July, I think. Yeah, July when I did these. So a seller, I don't know which one. Um, I picked up this pattern by Lila Studios called Be Mine. Super pretty. And then I also picked up uh, Plum Pudding Needle Art, Peace and Plenty. Holy goodness, nurse, I should probably feed that, huh? <laughs> it's a monster happening. <laughs> and then Whiskey Creek America. I just thought that that was so cute. So that was from one seller. And then from another seller, I got the Scarlet House Mary Kemp 1862. Oh, sorry, Claire. Most of the time I take these out of the package, but opening up all the envelopes today was enough work. Um, the Scarlet House Autumn Alphabet. Oh, that's so pretty. It's, yeah. And then this one here, uh, Lottie Da. Oh, she put a card in here. Just a second. Um, humble and kind. Lottie Da, humble and kind. So pretty, and this was uh, from JT's Stitching Corner. Mm -hmm. JT's Stitching Corner. Okay, so I purchased those. Then I did a few trips to my LNS. Of course I did, because I love my LNS. It is Threadneedle Street. Denise and I are like this. I She calls me and says, hey, I have this in, are you interested? And I'm like, yes I am. And um, yeah. Anywho, I made a few trips out there um, and I went through the mirabilias because I like I clearly don't have enough mirabilias to do and I must buy more. So I looked at this one and this is called The Scent of Old Roses and she just, she's so lovely. She's so lovely. And then I was like, you know, I really want to do a Christmas one. And I've been looking at the Christmas Mirabilias for quite some time. She's got, you know, Santas and reindeers and a couple of others. But this a jolly old man spoke to me as well. And this is just Santa named Santa. He's so cute. 
And then also, because she's beautiful, White Christmas. And I think one of my viewers had said that she had bought White Christmas. And um, and she, her and I Instagram every once in a while message. Um, and I'm pretty sure she had mentioned that she bought this. And so I was like, ooh, let me go find that. And she's beautiful. I'm just saying that they may have been kitted up and they may be getting started soon. And then Denise had this one weird, lonely little Nora. And she is called Fairy Roses. And you notice that her packaging is different than her Nora's and Mirabilia's. And apparently there's a story about that. And um, yeah, and so there was, I apparently there's just the one, the one pattern that was um, made like this, created by Nora and packaged like this. And uh, I am dying to know what the story is. So I might have to look that up and see if there's, if there's anything online. So that was, that was two different trips. I mean, there, there was some floss and some fabric as well. Nothing exciting. Um, I think that that's actually when I went to go and kit up the prize winner um, floss uh, for the giveaway that I had done a while ago. Um, so then... Yeah, because you know you have to show all these things before you use them. So I needed some eyeballs for to finish my um, a witch hat, the Lizzie Kate witch hat, which you'll see tomorrow. Now that I'm showing it, you'll get to see it finished. And so I needed some eyeballs for my hat. And then, of course, I needed some more um, 25 count Easy Grid fabric. I picked up this adorable beaded Mill Hill pumpkin kit for my Halloween tree, which may or may not get done this year. I mean, the might not get done this year. We'll see. Um, Hands-on Designs came out with ghosties and go gourds. Gourds. I mean, how, is that upside down? No. How stinking cute is that? Banner year. So it kind of matches Scary Apothecary from last year. I love, I love, I love. And then I picked up um, Collection Tralala, uh, Soar de Sorcer, I believe. I probably butchered that. I mean, but how pretty. How cute. I'm I'm in love. I'm in love. And then I picked up with thy needle and thread Baltimore salt box because the colors spoke to me and I love salt boxes. Salt box houses. Pretty. And then, ooh, I picked up this um, 25 Count Lugana. Again, I don't know what's happening. Um, in lime green, because I thought that it would go really well with the um, ghosties, ghosties and gourds. And then I found Jane Fittis. Holy good night, nurse. Was I having a hard time finding this? So there is a stitch along happening with a uh, Jane and um, on Facebook and uh, hands across the sea. Yeah, ha hands across the sea samplers. And um, I hadn't been able to find Jane. Well, Denise had one copy. And so when I come up to the register, she looks at me and she goes, oh, you're buying, you're buying um, Jane. And I'm like, yeah. And she goes, I've been selling a lot of these. And I'm like, uh-huh. And she goes, I don't know why, but they're just flying out of here. And I'm like, because there's a stitch along going on. <laughs> it was really funny. So anyways, she's going to get kitted up here pretty soon. So I would like to start her. And then my last purchase is a Blackbird Designs come into my garden. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. And then I purchased all, all of the flosses. That's not even pretty, but all the flosses for it. So, um, yeah, that happened. So that's what I have. That's what I have. Okay. So I will be back tomorrow to do my regular video. I'm going to the hairdresser to get this mess looked after. And so you'll see a whole new me tomorrow. <laughs> 
All right. I hope you enjoy your day. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, if you're in the fire zone, absolutely thinking about you, prayers up. And um, I hope that you're all doing well. For the rest of us who are still in, you know, wear your mask, please cover your nose, cover your mouth, because it's not doing any good when it's down, half, mm -mm. and um, remember to wash those hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, stay safe. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.